I've got a couple of products here from Beta FPV. What we have here is the Meteor 65. This is the special edition version. This is on a 1S. This is the all black version, comes in a little kit. So it's like a starter kit really. And I've got this, which is the Light Radio 2, which looks, looks really, really nice. So let's open these up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the unboxing and we're gonna bind these together and see what they're actually like. Let's go and open the actual drone itself first. You see, it's a it's a whole little kit. So you've got the drone here, you've got a charger, spare props, piece of paper with a QR code on it, screwdriver, battery, and here is the drone itself which has got another battery underneath. So you get two batteries, USB charger, which will charge, charge the two batteries at once, screwdriver, which I'm assuming will fit all these little screws and take the plates off. Very handy if you haven't got one. But this is supposed to be a, it's supposed to be a fast 1S. It's supposed to be better than your average 1S drone. I'm, I don't know what I'm expecting from it, to be honest with you, but we'll find out because I will show you some flight footage as well. So there's that. That looks like great fun. Nice little kit. If you're just starting out, I think this is around, around 110, 115 pounds. And we have this, which is their controller, which is around 40 to 45 pounds, I believe. What do we have here? More QR codes, instructions, and the actual controller. Radio, as people like to call them. And there it is. Let's get this box out of the way. That actually fits in the hand very nicely. It's light. Comes with a battery in the back. Excellent, yeah, there it is. You've got a USB port. This actually charges from USB as well. The gimbals actually feel very nice. They don't feel too too light, don't feel too heavy. I'm worried I might actually flip these switches when I'm flying there. But they are quite stiff because I sort of rest my fingers on the top. So if you're thumbing it would be okay. But I do, yeah, I should get away with it. I have downed my quads before by flicking the actual switches while I've been flying the arm switch and I've de-armed a quad and I've crashed it straight into the ground. That was a long time ago. I think mean, that's why we do the double switch now, double switch arming. But yeah, that feels good. So stick around. I'm going to get this fired up and I'm going to bind it straight to this and I'll show you some flight footage. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bind this straight out of the box to this controller. So let's get going. Let's Start this up. Battery there. So we can zoom in a bit for you. Press the bind button. So the bind button, we have a solid, solid green light, flashing red light. That's in the bind mode. This needs to be in its D16 mode. So let's start this up. What you have to do is you have to press this bind button as you press the power on button. And that alters the mode. I've already done that, so let's switch it on. And then press the bind button. Press that bind button again. Flashing. They're communicating. There. So we have a, a solid light on there. And that is bound. So what I'm gonna do now is just, I've gotta quickly set up my triggers and my switches and my throttles and I will show you what this flies like. Hi guys, so here we are in beta flight. I've got my little whoop connected up. 
I'm going to plug in a battery. I've also got my radio control connected. And the power is just about flashing on it. So I have these two connected up. Let's get into beta fight. Connect it up there, you can see, there we go. There's the whoop. And if we go, what we want to do is we want to have a look at the modes. Make sure the receiver's all in. So there's the receiver. So our throttle is good. Our roll is good. Pitch. Yaw. Yeah, we're set to go. Don't have to change anything on there. Get our modes, make sure our arming is connected. And what you'll see straight away is it's actually all set up ready to go. So AUX1 has got the arm on. There's the arm. What else have we got? We've got angle mode which is set up. Angle and horizon. Not we'll using any of those to start with though. They've got air mode, angle mix, and flipper over after crash. Turtle mode. Turtle mode's in here. There we go, turtle mode's on there. So yeah, it's pretty much ready ready to roll. So I'm just going to disconnect this. I'm going to leave the PIDs how they are. And we'll see what happens. So let's take first flight.
So there you go, that was my setup, my initial setup with a first flight. Hope you enjoyed that. I I really like this little quad. Uh, it's small, it's light, probably not the best for outdoor use because it is very light. But we had a perfect day so I did it outside. And you can say that however you like. But yeah, it's it, it's nice. It's quick as well, quicker than what I was expecting for a little 1S and I'm surprised how fast these actually charge up. And mentioning charging, there's something I quickly wanted to show you because I haven't seen this before on any any of these little 1S chargers. It actually comes with a little um, a little test. You can actually see the voltage on these. So there you go, that's sort of charged up, ready to go. Shows you the power. Nice little feature, like that a lot. So yeah, I mean, this is a great little starter kit. I would definitely recommend it. I don't think you can go wrong with that at all. Probably fly it around your home, fly it around your garden a bit. Very nice. One thing that I'm quite surprised with though is this controller. And it is, it is very nice. I like the gimbals, I like the way it feels in your hand. I'm gonna try and bind this up with a couple of other quads I've got lying around. I've got a Tiny Hawk 2, a freestyle one. So I'm gonna give that a go and I'll let you know how we get on with this controller as well. So there you go. Bang for buck, I think that's a great deal. Great controller, great little quad. Yeah, definitely. Lots of fun. Thanks guys.